are you interested in using Twitter but you don't know how to do it? Retweet, reply, direct message, favor, what is it all about? Well, in this video I will share with you the basics that will help you join in the conversation and see immediate results. You want to sound like this? And not like this. Keep watching. So here we are with Twitter. The first thing we want to know is how we compose a new tweet. Here there are different options. Let's go to the home page, which is you click on this home here. And you would see that you got an option to start composing a new tweet from the, less, the left side of the screen. So let's pretend that we put uh, new tweet test. You would see that every time that we type something, uh, the number here is going down. And that's because uh, we can put a maximum of 140 characters. If you are up to 21, it's still black, but when you go down, you will see that it starts becoming dark red. It means that you are nearly running out of space. And here it becomes bright red. It means that you don't have a lot of space left. After you go, basically, you see this is zero. Here, it goes minus and the possibility to tweet disappears. And that's because you have basically reached the maximum amount of characters so if you want to tweet you would have to delete the characters that are in excess and you see that the tweet reappears here you see that here I've got buffer you probably don't have this and that's because I'm using a, a specific app which I will be talking in a subsequent video so please ignore this for the time being even though we got 140 characters, I always suggest uh, to use a maximum of 120. Why? Because you want to leave a little bit of space uh, for uh, people that are going to reply and retweet uh, your tweets. And that's because if you use all the space, uh, they cannot add any comment. Let's remember that Twitter is a community, so you want to enter into a conversation with people. So use a maximum of 120 characters. Here you got the possibility to add the location, I'm not gonna do that, and also to add the picture. So if you click on here, it will take you to your, map, uh, to your pictures, and then you can choose the picture and attach it. Again, I'm not going to do this for the time being. Always from the home page, you can do the same thing by going here, you can compose a new tweet. So basically, here on the right, there is this feather, you click on it and then test new tweet. I'm now going to tweet it and you would see that the tweet has been posted. I got 195 and if I go on me, it's got 196. So it has added a new tweet which appears on my main wall. Here it shows basically all the activity that I went through. Let's pretend that I don't like a tweet and say, well, you know what, I don't particularly like it. You can delete it. So you go on the bin here, you can hover here and you delete it. Okay, now let's see how we enter into a conversation with other people. So okay, let's get rid of this. These are the people that I am following. And you would see that there are several information. So let's uh, check something that uh, I may be interested in. So here, Simon and Schuster embraces ebook subscriptions. If I click on reply, you will see that here I can hover on this. I can treat my reply and say, awesome for example and I can tweet my reply you would see that uh, it appears here so if I go at the top uh, you would see that uh, there is uh, 
a link between Mashable and me and that's because we have started a conversation. Another thing that I can do is to retweet this. So if I like this tweet and I think that my followers can be interested in this topic, I'm going to retweet it. So I go like this and basically I retweet it. What happens is that this will now appear in my personal wall. It shows that I have retweeted this. Usually you retweet messages that are of interest to you, are of interest to your followers, uh, pictures or messages that are quite funny and that you are enjoying and basically you want to make them to display them on your wall that's actually how you start a conversation again by retweeting someone else's stuff you can also undo the retweet so if you are not sure about it you say well you know what actually I don't particularly like it you can go over the retweet you will see that now we got retweeted and we got this thing that is green and is not gray anymore you can undo the retweet so basically now it disappears you can also favor someone tweet so if you like it but you don't want to display it on your wall you favorite it so you click it it becomes orange but unlike the retweet if I go to my wall, it doesn't show up. You will notice that a lot of times people favorite a tweet, but also retweet it. And that's because if I favorite it, it doesn't show up on my wall. But if I retweet it, it does. It means I really liked it because I favorite it, but also I would like other people to be aware of this. Again, you can also unfavorite it, so undo favorite by clicking here, you see that it disappears, no? you can go on and off. If you want to have a private conversation, that's where you go, direct messages. A lot of time you will see people saying something like, please DM me, it means please send me a direct message, so it's Twitter lingo. You go basically on this uh, sort of letterbox and uh, or envelope and you click new message here you choose the person or the organization you want to talk to so you use the at and then the username so for example Mashable you will see that here I got 140 characters and basically I can send them a message Please do not abuse the direct message uh, as uh, basically it will cause some problems. I mean, again, you don't want to spam people. You would also notice that here there are other options. So if you go on the tweet and you go more, you can embed the tweet. This is a little bit more advanced and it's basically if you got a website. If, for example, you got a follower that is uh, tweeting a little bit too much and is annoying you, but you don't want to stop following them, you can mute them. So for example, I can go and mute Mashable and basically it says you will no longer see tweets from Mashable in your timeline. Uh, so basically, it's just like uh, the person is still tweeting but it doesn't show on my wall. If you want to basically undo it, you go here and it says unmute. So it means that now I can see them Block or report, this is something that can be used if uh, someone is annoying you or if you unfortunately um, bump into a troll. Troll are those who are extremely negative and tend to make uh, very very negative but really nasty remarks. You can block the person or you can report the person. So basically you know, it can, now I'm not going to do anything with this, of course, but, you know, it says this tweet is annoying, this tweet is spam, this account may be compromised, or this Twitter is abusive. Uh, careful, because uh, this user is abusive, of course, uh, is used only if someone is, uh, uh, you know, making uh, extremely nasty remarks. Uh, and I can assure you that it can happen. Usually it's with people... Uh, that are particularly famous you know there are individuals that uh, are um, you know envious or are very 
know, they got some problems, so they take it on someone on Twitter. But if it happens, you know, there is a possibility to report the individual. Also, if you want to see your activity, you go here on notifications and you would see basically what happened. Uh, for example, here it shows the people that have started following me recently. Here it shows people that have retweeted me and favorite my tweets and so on. So what I usually do, I thank these people. So in this case, I wrote to this individual and thanked them for retweeting my tweet. In this case, that they liked, um, they favorite money in my tweets. So I wrote to them, thanking them. Same thing with Buffer and so on. Why? Because basically, uh, you know, you want to be sociable. These people basically spent their time reading my things and actually, uh, you know, they broadcasted uh, my tweet in this case and actually they favored my tweet in this case. So it's always, you know, good. Uh, it's just like being a nice neighbor, you know, if you meet someone and they're nice to you, of course, you know, you're going to thank them. And that's the same thing on Twitter. So let's start a little bit of etiquette. Um, last thing that I would like to say with regards to Twitter is uh, rule of thumb. Don't tweet uh, something that you may regret. So never tweet anything that you wouldn't want your mom, your dad, your grandma, your daughter, your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your employer or whatever to read. Uh, it's very easy you know, to write something or you know, to retweet something or to post a picture that is displayed uh, globally and then go, oh god, I wish that I didn't do that. Uh, this is basically used uh, to enhance uh, your reputation but you can also ruin it. Uh, so be careful when you're tweeting something and always ask yourself am i comfortable with this if you're not comfortable my suggestion is avoid it so in brief today we have learned how to tweet how to reply how to retweet favoriting checking our notification use a direct message and also how to mute and unmute someone that we are following and how to block or report someone if uh, we are experiencing some problems. Uh, I didn't mention the hashtags and I did it on purpose because I would like you to start to play around with Twitter so start to get comfortable with the basics. Uh, the hashtags uh, require a video on their own which is something that I'm going to do next. So to show you the power of uh, this simple tool. Uh, don't worry about it now this is a basics so now enter you know start a conversation join a conversation start broadcasting other people and most of all start having fun well there you have it a complete guide on how to use Twitter if you like this video make sure to subscribe by clicking the button below and if you're looking for more results on Twitter, make sure to pick up a free copy of my Twitter cheat sheet. In it, I reveal my simple infographic that provides a quick reference on how to use Twitter. To get your hands on it, please click the link in the description box and you will get your free copy. Thank you for watching. Make sure to pick up my free cheat sheet. My free Twitter, tweet, Twitter, 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 Twitter.